Hey, what's going on guys? Michael from Spruce and Sharp here. Hope you're all doing well. And in this week's video, we're taking a look at a brand new product from the Prospectors line, and that is Coal Mine, which is their new clay. It's a water-soluble product, advertises a medium hold and a matte finish. And like the other Prospectors products, this looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, the tinge is very intricately designed. The words Prospectors are stamped out on the lid and just Everything's very ornate, but it looks really good. It's all this kind of matte, metallic, um, just gray color. And that matches the whole kind of theme of the product itself. Because when you do take the lid off, it has this like really creamy gray, almost like wet cement looking, you know, consistency inside. And the scent is supposed to be matcha, uh, citrus, and cedarwood. But to me, it smells just kind of like a nice, fresh body wash. It's nothing really super complex or anything. It's pretty neutral and the scent goes away really quickly after it's in your hair for a little while. But as you see, you can imagine just scooping it out is really easy. It feels a little thick, but it comes out very, very easily. And breaking it down, of course, is no hassle. However, though, when you break it down, you will notice it feels a little sticky, feels a little tacky. But it still applies pretty hassle free. And I am applying to towel dried hair. And I noticed normally I like to leave a little bit of moisture in my hair when I do towel dry, but with this product in particular, I actually found it's a little bit better if I let my hair get as dry as possible without being unmanageable before I apply it. So my hair is drier than it normally is um, in most of my reviews when I'm using this product. So just one more scoop because you don't really need a whole lot with this product. And it's really nice and user friendly at least. It applies really easily. No pain. No tugging or pulling. And yeah, as you guys can see, the finish is pretty matte. I'll put it, you know, maybe in between like a neutral finish and a true matte finish. Uh, yeah, so let's just get a comb real quick, style something up. What's nice is, say it's definitely a medium hold, it's definitely true. You can get a lot of nice shape with this stuff. And it is pretty nice and lightweight as well, you can get some good volume with it. And the reason why I wanted to review this one in particular is because it is very similar to the Shiner Gold Clay that we looked at previously. But where I said the Shiner Gold Clay was really more of a paste than it was a clay, and it got really sticky, kind of stiff, really hard to manipulate. This one has that sort of pasty feeling to it, but it's not as bad. It's a lot more manageable. It still has a pasty feeling, that sort of dry, stiff, sticky kind of feeling but you can still move your fingers through it really easily and it still holds, it still keeps its hold, doesn't get super dry or anything like that. It actually really does a good job. I think this is more like what a pasty type product should be like, where it has that kind of dry controlled frizz sort of look to it, but still easy to manipulate and not overly sticky. And that's what this product successfully does. So if I had to choose between this product and Shiner Gold, I would choose between this one every time. Because not only do you get some good shape with it, get a nice hold with it, get a nice matte finish with it, but it's similar to the Shiner Gold Clay in the way that it's all, you know, nice and user friendly and hold is relatively kind of similar. But this one's just so much easier to manipulate and I actually like the texture on this one a little bit more too. It's definitely a little bit more of a coarser texture, especially like when you finger comb it. Um, it does, of course, it gives off a little bit more coarser texture, but with this product, normally, I like to just comb it up, because I think it looks good with just, you know, styled with a regular comb. And in terms of endurance, I mean, for me, if the weather is 60 or below, I can get pretty much my whole day done with this product, no problem. I haven't really got a chance to try it out in hot weather yet, but in about, like, 60 degree or below weather, it works just fine, it'll last all day. And it's a medium hold, so... Uh, the nice thing, though, is it, do it does restyle pretty well. Like I said, it's really malleable throughout the day, so you can run your fingers through it. It'll restyle really easily. You don't need to get a source of water. It doesn't dry. doesn't harden. doesn't get too stiff or sticky in the hair, like I said. So overall, 
it's really nice and you know it's just a good product it's a really decent uh just water soluble clay product if you like products that are water soluble and you like you know products that kind of just do a good job and they're easy to use this is a pretty good product for that i don't really know what much else to say about it so i guess that covers the final verdict then you know it's just a user-friendly product that does the job well and Honestly, I would recommend this over Shiner Gold Clay because though they share some similar characteristics, uh, this one is just much more convenient to use because it's easier to restyle and, um, you know, for like the same nice, easy, creamy scooping and application and similar finish and level of hold, this one just has so many more conveniences to it. So definitely would recommend checking this out if you like medium holds, you're looking for a new clay, you want something that's just super, super easy to use, like a daily driver type of product, this would be perfect. So yeah, with that said, guys, this was a review of the Prospector's Coal Mine. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, don't forget to subscribe, and check the description for a written review as well as a link where you can find this product. I am going to go um, get ready to pack up and go up to my parents' house for the weekend. So you guys have a good one, and I will see you all soon with another video.